So guys, in this next news story, four men were today found guilty of the brutal murder of a council worker mercilessly chased through her home and blasted with a submachine gun due to her boyfriend's petty feud with criminal rivals. The hitman, James Witham, was 41, his driver Joseph Pierce was 29, along with Niall Barry, who's 26, and Sean Zeiss, who's 28, who orchestrated the murder from a nearby flat, face life sentences for the killing of Ashley Dale, who's only 28 years old, in August last year. I just want to say rest in peace, Ashley, and my condolences go out to your family. During the six and a half week trial at Liverpool Crown Court, jurors heard how Barry ordered the attack after a long running spat with Ms Dale's boyfriend Lee Harrison, who was 26 years old, which was reignited at the Glastonbury Festival. Today, Ashley's mother Julie said she was more angry towards Harrison than the hitman himself, adding, without Lee Harrison, this wouldn't have happened. Despite the guilty verdicts and hefty prison sentences that are going to follow, she added, in my eyes, that there'll never be justice for me. The only justice would have been that this wouldn't have happened. The case is believed to be the first in British legal history to use the recorded testimony of the victim from beyond the grave in the form of hundreds of voice notes sent to Ashley to her friends describing the feud to secure the convictions. Barry, who jurors heard ran a county lines drug ring, had fallen out with Harrison three years earlier over the alleged theft of drugs. But at the Glastonbury Festival in 2022, his close associate and fellow drug dealers, Zeiss was beaten up by a group including Harrison's friend Jordan Thompson, who the court heard was a member of the rival organised crime group, the Hillsiders. To compound Zeiss's loss of face after he wandered off, his then-girlfriend, Olivia, went to stay with Ashley and Harrison at the festival before later splitting with him and developing a relationship with Thompson. The feud escalated in the weeks that followed and a hit was planned with Harrison the intended target. There were calls of yes from Ashley Dale's family including her mother and her partner who shared hugs of relief in the public gallery as the guilty verdicts were returned but Zeiss's father was shouting obscenities. The former and also convicted of conspiracy to murder Harrison and a conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon and ammunition with intent to endanger life. A fifth man, Ian Fitzgibbon, was cleared of the same charges and a sixth man, Callum Radford, was also found not guilty of assisting an offender for arranging to hide the Hyundai car that was used. The trial judge, Mr Justice Goose, who's going to be sentencing the men, adjourned the case until Wednesday for sentencing. James has got £700 in cash on him, so that's below the threshold. Oh, hello, Mr Niall. Yeah, that'll do. That'll come in. I think that was it, to be fair. Niall, time is 25 to mate. You're going to be arrested under suspicion of possession of that, OK? Is it? That's not my bag. It's in your bag with your passport in it, OK? Yeah, you, I've just showed that to you before, my passport was in this bag. Uh, so yeah. don't say anything about me, I'm in defence, if you don't mention any questions, see you later on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence, all right? That's in my bag. It's got your passport in it. Ask him, he, he grabbed all my stuff before. Hmm? Ask him, he grabbed all my stuff before. Is there just one bag? No, there's, no, there's my, two my, bags. My bag, my bag, the carrier bag, the white bag. With all, with all the clothing. Mm. I did say straight away that his passport's going to be in his mate's bag. I did say that, I did say that, I still want to show the police. Um, right. You're under arrest for now, OK? So we bought it out. It's your bag, is it? So again? The big blue hole door. Ketamine in there, is it? Where else is it? You see it? It's been in the bag. Right, Find anything? Yeah, well, he's back. The blue one. That one. That's yours. Okay. Right. Okay. So. 
going to arrest you and have suspicion of possession of this, okay? So you don't have to say anything but may harm your defense, you don't measure my question, saying that they've lied before, okay? Anything you do say, maybe give evidence. Obviously, this is a lock knife, right? So it's, you're under arrest and you can just be bladed after all. Where's the kettle in here then? I've searched the bag and I can't find any ketamine. What was it in? Is your driving license in your wallet? Yeah, it's in there. <clears throat> so it's the the other guy, the Japanese baseball cap. He's going to put it in his bag. And the guy whose passport it was in it is denying it's his bag, oh, saying oh, okay, it's his yeah. mate's bag. Oh, well, it's on tape, so... Yeah. To be fair, I think as soon as... To be fair to Niall, the other bloke, yeah. as soon as he's been stopped, he sort of said, like, my passport's in that bag, but nothing else in there is mine. Oh. And the other chap's like, yeah, that's my bag. Oh, okay. His passport's in it, so... Um, I didn't go the other one first, because I thought it was his. Yeah, well, he's, he's got, got a passport Yeah, yeah. he's got... No, no, it's not mine. Yeah, the guy's like, yeah, no, it's my bag. Oh. Ashley's mother today slammed Harrison's behaviour since the murder on the 21st of August last year, refusing to cooperate with police investigation into her death and leaving the country as absolutely despicable. She declared she was more angry at Harrison, a former friend of Barry and his associate Sean Zeiss, also convicted of murder, that's I am the person who's actually killed Ashley. She added, we've had no remorse from him, we've had no support from him, we've had no admittance that it's anything to do with him. He's given us a number of reasons of what he's heard it is to do with and none of them include him and he still carries on, you know, going about his life, leaving the country, going on holidays, loading it up, shall we say, that nothing's happened and nothing's changed for him and it's absolutely disgusting, it really is. Julie, the mother insisted her daughter was her own person and that she couldn't control who she chose to fall in love with. Her daughter knew my feelings about Lee. She said, I knew that he didn't have a nine to five job. I wasn't happy about it. I didn't know the full extent of what he was doing, but I did tell Ashley on a regular basis that I wasn't happy for her being with someone like Lee Harrison. What I mean by that is she had so many prospects and aspirations. She wanted to live a normal life, whatever that is, and he was never ever going to be able to do that. She constantly strived for him to be that person and he was never ever going to be that. Her partner and Ashley's stepfather, Rob Jones, said he's aching to the people who've done this in that he won't face the truth and he's living his own lies, so to speak. They're all collectively just a different world from the one we lived in, and we've had to be dragged into it now. They all lie, they all cheat, they all steal, and they know no difference. This wasn't Ashley's world. He said, that's not our life. I've not brought Ashley up from the age of 12 into that. It's not her dad's life. It's nothing to do with us how we lived. We're all professionally qualified people. We've all had jobs. We'd all go down the other path. The problem we keep coming back to is Ashley fell in love with the wrong person. It's just shocking what's happened by his actions. Lee quite clearly didn't love Ashley. So Ashley was gunned down with a Scorpion submachine gun at her home in Old Swan in Liverpool on August the 21st last year, which was one of five innocent murders last year amid escalating violence between Merseyside drugs gangs. During the trial, the prosecutor, Paul Gearney, KC told how Ms Dale was shot in the abdomen and found dying in a rear backyard of a terrace home by a neighbour who called 999 following the attack at around midnight, which happened after she had been enjoying a quiet night in watching Sally. The prosecutor said evidence from Environmental Health Officer Miss Dale's iPhone provided a clear picture of the feud between Harrison Barry, nicknamed Branch, because of his six foot seven height. In her voice notes, Miss Dale was told how she feared Branch was out for Lee and that her nerves had gone over it all. The prosecutor said the messages were the voice of Ashley describing in her own way a dispute which led to her death. Describing the escalating feud, Ms Dale said in a voice note to Miss McDowell, three days after the festival, I know Branch has been saying madness about Lee. She said she heard of Barry saying to Fitzgibbon, Where's Saz? I'm going to stab him up. That's Harrison. In a text to a friend named only a Sophie, Ms Dale wrote, Branch is out for Lee, isn't he? There's been murder, aggro again, so my nerves have gone all over it. She also said it's scary because E, Barry, is on pure rampage. The court heard further iPhone messages from Ms Dale, on July the 31st, where she spoke of heavy beef between Barry and Harrison and predicted probably one of them is going to end up in a bad way. And Ms Dale 
who was also doing well at work and had been interviewed for a more senior job, told a friend she was proper stressed out, adding, I've just had a bad feeling about everything, it's horrible. My heart's in my mouth constantly. The court heard that the weekend before the murder, an Audi used by Barry and Witham to travel to Glastonbury was exchanged for the Hyundai, the car from which the killers operated. CCTV and AMPR evidence then regularly placed the car on co-conspirators in the vicinity of a flat in Highton where a room was used to grow cannabis.